So, der Arbeitsplatz. Hier. Is a workplace. Arbeitszeit. Die Arbeitszeit. So, wo die los? Was ist? Sollen wir die Tolle sehen? Ja, also working time. Ja. Okay, that is new in the table. Und die Freizeit ist auch schon jung. Die Freizeit ist eine Freizeit. Also try to do that. To fill the table. 7C. Okay. 7C. So what did you write uh, for Arun Arslan? Arbeitsplatz. Arbeitsplatz, yeah. What is that? Hmm? Yeah, far away. Arbeitszeit. Mittwoch bis Sonntag, richtig. Mittwoch bis Sonntag. Okay. Und äh, Freizeit am Montag und Dienstag hat er Freizeit. Ja. Jetzt Silke Jonas, der Beruf. Studentin, ja. Und wo ist der Arbeitsplatz? Der Arbeitsplatz, ja. Eine Studentin, ja. So, wo ist es? Nein, nein. Das ist die Stadt Cologne, aber wo ist? Ha? Die Uni. Die Uni. Sie studiert an der Uni. An der Universität in Köln natürlich. Ja, okay. Und äh, die Arbeitszeit von, ja, von Montag bis Donnerstag. Und am Samstag, das ist Freizeit. Magda Donat. Erstin. Und Arbeitsplatz? Klinik. Die Klinik. Ja. Okay. Arbeitszeit? 40 Stunden. Und Freizeit? Ja. Am Wochenende. Am Wochenende. Ja. Fabian. Höflinger. Taxi. Beruf? Taxi. Taxifahrer. Arbeitsplatz ist die Taxizentral. Und Arbeitszeit? Sechs Tage pro Woche und die Freizeit am Montag. Okay? So, hier haben wir Fragen.
So, welche Informationen fehlen? Fragen Sie Ihren Partner und schreiben Sie in die Tabelle. In die Tabelle ja. So, wir haben hier, was ist der Arztland von Beruf oder sind wir? Was ist der Profession von Mr. Arslan? Ja, okay. So, wir haben die Antwort, Techniker. Denn was ist, wo arbeitet er? Wo arbeitet er? So, Ansatz. Wo arbeitet er? Er? Arbeitet. Ja, er arbeitet. So, you see the text? You see the text here? Er arbeitet. How do you say that? In the text? What is written about him? Er arbeitet. Bei VW. Er arbeitet bei. Bei VW, bei. The small word, preposition, meanings for, at, with. Also, er arbeitet bei VW. Wann hat er frei? Wann hat er frei? Not on Monday, on Dienstag. I want to tell you about on Monday, on Monday and Dienstag. Yeah. Okay. And when arbeitet er? Wann arbeitet er? Hm? Only two days? I don't, I don't think. Okay. Um, wann arbeitet er? Von? Was? Von Mittwoch bis Sonntag. Er arbeitet von Mittwoch bis Sonntag. Not only on weekend. Ja, yeah. okay. So we are doing the same for the three other guys. Ja. Yeah. So what can we ask for asking for the profession now? For example, Magda Donut. Magda Donut, what can we ask? This is a female doctor. Was ist Frau Donut von Beruf? And how can we answer? No, Frau Donat is not ich. Sie ist Erstin. Sie ist Erstin. Okay? We have it in the text, in the first text. So the second uh, question is, how can we change it for the Magna Donat? For Magna Donat? Wo? Arbeitet sie. So the answer will be sie arbeitet. You see the text? In einer Klinik. So we don't have the buy here. We have to learn why it is like that. Sie arbeitet in einer Klinik. Then for the free time, how can we ask now? Wann hat sie frei? Wann hat sie frei? So, what is the answer? Sie hat am 
So, Manasi Fry, what do you write in the table? So we have written in the table. Um, for an end, of course. Even if she has to work some time, but normally they are off the doctors on weekends. You have to make your uh, common sense, yeah, work, yeah, okay. So, und wann arbeitet er oder now for Magda Donat? Wann arbeitet sie? Also, wann arbeitet sie? Sie arbeitet. So, we have done the text. I'm, aw I'm, I'm awaiting now answers. Hi, right, guys. Also, don't remain silent. Because all has to be done and it is not difficult. It's written in the text as I will not. So, Vanna arbeitet sie? Yeah. Sie arbeitet für sie Stunden pro Woche. So, and if I ask, I'm asking now, wann arbeitet sie? But better, more precise, an welchen Tagen? Arbeitet sie? An welchen Tagen arbeitet sie? So, how you answer that? Am Wochenende. Wann arbeitet Magda Donat? An welchen Tagen arbeitet sie? Am Montag. Am Montag. Bis. Not am bis. Von Montag bis Freitag. Von Montag bis Freitag. Ja? Okay? Und am Wochenende hat sie frei. Okay? So, now I'm, I will ask you some ganz ja? Was bist du von Beruf? I am helping you, eh? because you don't know. Was bist du von Beruf? Between uh, something. To be software engineer, the engineer. Software is the same. Yeah. Ich bin software engineer. Und wo arbeitest du? Uh. Ich arbeite yeah. uh, in. Uh, Depends what you say. Can be buyers. Ich arbeite bei uh, Nice System. Okay, so name by yeah. Okay, ich arbeite bei Nice System. Nice. Und wann hast du frei? Uh, uh, no. No. Um, ich habe. Wann hast um, du hast du frei? Ich habe habe am Wochenende frei. Ich habe am Wochenende frei. Und wann arbeitest du? Wann arbeitest du? Ich 
Hard wire to uh, on. Be careful, not on. Huh? On is a switch. Hard wire to in. I've opened it. Oh, no. Big days. Uh, so what did we say? From from the from mon phone. Mon mon time. From to this piece. piece. Okay. I didn't write it here because we have seen it last week. It's from two. So ich arbeite von Montag bis Freitag. Yeah. So somebody else. Take it. Somebody else. I don't know if you are student or not. Uh, yeah. So, arbeitest du? Okay. Also, was bist du vom Beruf? Was bist du vom Beruf? No, I am asking for your profession. So, we are seeing it here. Was bist du? Ich bin Ich Beruf is a, is a verb that you put it in second position. Ich Beruf. You want to say my profession. So, how do you say my? Mein. Mein. Beruf. Ist. Ist. Tin. Tin. You are, you are male or female? Student. But I don't want my profession is. I want to say I am. So. Ich bin student. Okay? So, wo studierst du? Wo studierst du? I don't want any translation, I want answer. Okay? Wo studierst du? I cannot say, wo, wo arbeitest du? Du bist studentin. Ja? Okay? So, ich frage, wo studierst du? So in the text of the student, we had something. That's why they ask you also such questions. Wo studierst du? This is where I see the student at learn. Is the student, or is the person here, the student here, I'm only here now. Huh? If you don't learn, you don't know it. Because all the answers are in the text. Yeah? So when I say wo studierst du, what is the answer to this question? You understand my question perfectly. Wo studierst du? But you can't find the answer. Because text didn't be, has not be revised. Is it clear? Is it? Ah, it is true. Yes, yes, yeah. I know. Also try to find where the answer is. Huh? Was studierst du und wo studierst du? You see the difference? So what does it mean, wo studierst du? So you can't say I am studying architecture. So also wo studierst du? Whatever it is, the text gives you an answer. The text gives you an answer. Also, no. An der Uni. An der Uni. So, und wann hast du frei? Wann hast du frei? Am Montag? Am Montag? No. Ich 
Fry. Fry is not a verb. Fry, you cannot put it in second position. Ik, um, uh, so. Arm is not a verb. So you see, you have to listen to my question. Half of the answer is in my question. Wann hast du frei? So it's not, it's, German is not difficult, but you have to practice at all. I am repeating it, I don't know how many times now, yeah? But I don't see any practice at all, so very few. Of you. you come from Monday, from, Saturday, from Sunday to next Saturday without doing anything. It will not work. It will not work. And if you open the book, you have to memorize something. Otherwise, it's only no, 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 okay, finish, yeah, next time. It will not work. This is the result. Yeah? They open the other books because she has exams, she has so many things at the college. And German is here, in the corner. It will not work. This is not only for you, this is for all of you, all the girls who are mostly students, except some of you, but the boys also, students or not, without learning. Nothing will happen. And we are building up. We are building up. So now we have maybe 100 words, we know. With the lesson of today, we will have 150, 170, and so on. She didn't understand what I have asked. She, had, she thought, was do you study? But was and wo is a difference. Yeah? And you will not keep it, all that in mind if you don't put the nose in your books regularly. Is it clear for all of you? I know I will have to repeat it one, many times. And maybe with one of you or two of you, it will be click, and I will have the best student. As soon as you start learning, as soon as you start learning, you are becoming much better. Yeah? As of here, you didn't open the book. Is it true? Okay, as a, for you, I don't want anything. So who has opened the book? Yeah, you know it from the past. Even if you don't open the book, it's some reminiscence are there, okay? But see, if nobody has opened the book. So tell me what I can do with you. Tell me. Not much. You have tried to do something, it was okay. But this is not a logical thing you can find, for example, when you have mate, I stop it yeah, because it's of no use to have it. But there is that also. <coughs> Very important. I think nobody is. So, as after, plural for. Keeping what I was uh, supposed to do, I'm skipping that. I'm going to do that. The plural form. So, as I told, there are many plural forms in, uh, in, uh, in German. Not only the S and the other one, you have in English, yeah? We have what I will give a minimum as a, of seven plural form. Yeah, here they didn't put all. So what you can do, and I will prepare that, you can already search in the text, so you will read again the text, 
the plural form of this word. Okay? At least do something here. So, you have a lot of plural form here, let me find it here. And I write something on the board.
So you have it here? Yeah? Nobody is telling anything. So they are tag? The tag. That's who? The usual. The kilometer. The kilometer. The stunde. The stunde. The mensch. The mensch. The patient. Die Patienten und das Auto? Die Autos. So we have all the plural form here on the board now. This is the things you don't need to learn. There's nonsense to learn that. This is a thing you have to know that it exists. You have to know the plural appeal factor, the different plural. But learning that is not requested. Or required. Yeah. This is only to to show you that you cannot find the plural of a word if you don't know it. We have so many, so impossible to find the plural. You have to know the noun, the word with the gender represented by the article the singular form and then the plural form. That's why the plural will be written like that. And that is important to know for each word, each noun. But learning like that, it doesn't bring anything. Yeah? It's only for your knowledge now. So, and you have seen something, I, I think that for the singular we have three articles and for the plural they have all the same article. So in the plural form, it's not that they change the genders and they become all feminine. No. In the singular, the feminine will be D. But that is a plural. We see the endings and we, we can say it is a plural. Nothing to do with the, with the gender they had in the singular. So, I told you, if you don't open the book, yeah, you will not go far. It's so uh, complex, versatile language, German. It's not like English. 
the 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 not like that uh, s and finish it's a complex language not difficult but complex yeah so as you have written we will not talk about that anymore because that doesn't bring us ahead we are going yeah the father, the fater, the fater. Yeah, the umlaut is used many times to build the poor. This is like a house. And uh, for the CH, when you have it after uh, a umlaut, it will be here. And before it was R. 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 So also the pronunciation of the sound change. Yeah. Good. So we are going now to the profession. Was sind Sie von Beruf? So you know now that I'm asking for the profession here. Was ist Herr Hasland von Beruf? We have it here. Yeah. So I have asked you, was bist du von Beruf? I can change the verb as I want. Only I have to change also the subject. If I have a bist, I have to put the do. If I have a ist, for example, Herr Hasland. Yeah. And here, with a Z, this is a format, format, then it's you again. Yeah? So you have to change your verb according to the subject. So means you have to know the verb to be, and the verb to be is a verb which is everywhere irregular. Yeah? And this is what you need to know. You cannot allow yourself to come from a full week without knowing anything. That is not possible. Okay? I hope I have been clear. And I show you why it is important to learn. So, was sind Sie von Beruf? That means, what are you by profession? Yeah? So, we are talking now about profession and how to tell your profession. There are some differences compared to English. So the profession is the upper roof. And the way to ask, you can have this way here. We will put it in the singular, in your tomb, and in your app. Yeah? So if I have in singular, I would say, uh, as an informal, the do, was bist du? Von du. I'm changing it as I want. The verb and the subject match each other. Yeah? So now I'm asking you, because I don't know you in a, in, in a formal way, was sind sie? From the roof. So English, for both of them, English is very naked, is very naked language. Both of them will say, what is your profession? They don't take care if it is formal or informal. Yeah? So, but German has to be taken care, care of the formality or the informality. Yeah. Okay? So, was bist du von Beruf, was sind Sie von Beruf? So, the answer will be, ich bin, for example, for both of them, if we are talking about the doctor, about Mark, Mark Tardona, ich bin Erstin. And you can write von Beruf, by profession. If you want, it's not mandatory, it can be added. <coughs> so, as an example, they will ask you that. They want to know if you know how to tell the profession. So, a difference from English, from English, yeah. 
In English, you say, I am a doctor. So there is no article in German. We have the verb to be and immediately the profession. When you will know the, pro the article, the er, uh, and you put here an article, and the exam is zero. This is one major difference from English. I don't open the book during the week, otherwise you have gone. That is gone, what I'm telling. No article between the verb and the profession in German. When you tell what you are, okay? So this is one thing. Now, what can we say? Uh, there is also another possibility to add, but I don't like so much. Was machst du? I don't like so much because we have learned machen as a universal verb. Machen to do, to make. So I can make a cake also, yeah? Was machst du? Yeah, I can work, yeah? So. But oh, to understand that it is a profession you need, there is nothing to understand. You have to understand the context. If you talk about uh, the friend we tell you, yeah, I am uh, an engineer with Vito and all that, and suddenly he asks you, what's Marx do? So you cannot make a cake. It's clear you want to know also your profession. But it's very, I don't like so much. Yeah, okay. It's there, you have to know that can be used, but I try to avoid it when I teach to Bahamas students. So all the papas. No, no. You can have you can have it formal. You can have it formal. Yeah. So another good thing what we can have is as this one, you have to know how to use it, yeah. You have to know the context, yeah. So this is not my favorite, but it's possible to hear. Something which is also good like this one is was marks to and then we had something that is clear. Was marks to beruflich. Then it's clear. This is professionally. Was marks to beruflich means was, what, I, what do you do professionally? So you can have it also in the uh, formal address. Was machen Sie? So both are good. And it is clear. So you can have the same answer. Ich bin Erstling. Ich bin, hier, ich bin Erst, Erstling. And here, ich bin Erstling. And you can write it if you want. Beruflich. If you want, not necessary. Okay? So this is the thing for asking for the profession and how to answer. I don't know article. Write it in red or in blue or in green or whatever you want, but you have to know. Now, when we have that, we want to know where you work. So the question, and not what are you doing, what are you doing? Yeah? What are you studying? Yeah? Wo arbeitest du? Oh, wo arbeiten sie? Where do you work? So we have two possible answers, one with by and one with in. The by. I'm repeating it. At. With. For. So you will use it when you have a name of the company. Of company stated. 
If you don't have name, no use to take by. So, wo arbeitest du? Wo arbeiten Sie? My answer will be, uh, ich arbeite bei Vipro. Oh, my only company who, uh, who, have, who have names. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Vipro is one of the most important. Before this also is clear. So if you work by a bank, yeah, the bank has an article, we say the HDFC bank, the Union Bank of India, and so many banks. So you have this D, this D, okay? So the D, we have to translate it also in German. So the buy is like the house we have seen for the countries. It comes aus not the Schweiz, but aus der Schweiz. We have a dative. So the bank is the bank, nominative. And I have the buy. I cannot have by the bank. Because it needs also a dative. So what will it be? By? By their bank. Okay? So this is like that a German work. You have something before, and automatically you will have something changing here. So now I want to work with the HDFC bank. Now, so I will say, ich arbeite by, and I need my there. And HDFC of Deutsch, FRDFC Bank. And for the bank, be careful, yes, there is always a the. And in German, you will have, have always a there. So this is what you have to know for the exam because you have all uh, companies with name. But there are also small companies, for example, if you work with a chartered accountant, or if you work with a lawyer, or if you work with a notary, or a doctor, or a saloon, yeah, to work for cutting hair. These are small entities, yeah, structures, okay? So, you know, it's a personal thing, very personal, because the boss is also a mom you, right? Okay, working for the uh, So, you will have also buy. Buy, okay? In case of very personal uh, structure, yeah, personal structure. When you know the name of the of the boss. Here we probably don't know the name, yeah? Okay, maybe the, the big head, you know. But I don't know. These are multinational. Yeah, we don't know. Okay? Even the HDFC bank, we don't know the name. Okay. So here, if I say, ich arbeite by, I want to have the lawyer. Lawyer in German is there. Reichsanwalt is a lawyer. So we have, like the bank, we have there, nominative, yeah? It was nominative. Now I have the buy. What is the data for buy, for there? Remember the Iran, the Iran, the Yemen, the Lebanon. Ich komme aus, and this is what I told you to know, and you don't know it. So you don't know it, but I have given it, okay? Where do you find that in your notebook now? Where is it that at least you can consult your notebook and tell it, but not remaining like that and me say it again and again? So what is here? You don't do that? You let her search better, yeah? Then, the end. 
Okay, as a dim. Dim. I want you to find it. Yeah? And not make the other search for you. Where is it? You found it? You know it? Now we'll see next time. I will ask you again. Do you know it? Huh? Where you find it with the, uh, with the articles? With the countries and, and languages? No? You have to know your book by heart. Yeah, you have to mark up this thing, yeah? Where you write. You have to mark up. You, 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 you know how to learn bookish here. Yeah? You learn only bookish. There's no practice in India when you, are, when you study. So as of that, I want you to learn it by heart. And we will have fun learning German. But without you learning by heart, I don't have fun. And you also. Okay, also, what did I, I say for their Lebanon, or their Yemen, or their Iraq? What is a dative, yeah? What is written? Written? Them. Okay? Also, there is them. Good. Also, I will have by. What should I put? Them. Okay, this remains the same. Also, I am working with a lawyer, and he has a name, this guy. For example, Fuster. This is a very good German name. So, also, ich arbeite bei dem Rechtsanwalt Fuster. I have a small structure. It's one man company, we can say, or two man company. Okay, I have by. And it is a person. Very important. Personal means in the sense of person. Yeah? Person is a boss. Physically present. Okay? And that's no proof will tell you that. So, many people are working for a chartered accountant. Yeah? Chartered accountant, okay, a chartered maybe, I don't know, but uh, we don't need it in German. In German. So we say there, um, der Steuerberater. So this is an accountant. Steuerberater. So the literal translation is the tax counselor. What is doing a chartered accountant is counseling you about taxes. If you have to pay them, if you can, yeah? Not pay them, it's up to you. So this is the Steuer Berater. Okay? So, same, ich arbeite bei dem Steuer Berater. And you will have the name, Schuster. Or Müller, or whatever it is, yeah? Small, small structure. Okay? So now you know why to use the by. Clear? Also, I have to have a name. That is very important, yeah? Name of a company stated, and here you will have always a name. Or if you don't want a name, you say, I work for a lawyer. For a um, chapter of the content. But I have the. I can't say I work for the chapter of the content. Which one? I will ask you. And automatically, you will tell the name. Okay? So, if you have a, you will not have them, you will have a, and you don't need the name. But if you have the them, the the, you will have the name. So you will also have the name of the company state. So we are going now to the second case. Yeah? So the by is understood. So I thank you when you are at the exam and you are all working for big structures, you will say by. Okay? I don't think you will have to, to change to something else. Good. Now we will set, see another one. We have two. Huh? More than two we don't have. It's more than enough. So we will have the in. In is clear. We have seen it already. So, when you have the in, no name stated. OK? 
Okay? No name is stated. The other one need a name. So we are also Magda Donat. Ich bin Ärztin, she says, und arbeite in einer Klinik. So, when we don't have name, we will have our, we will not have the, we will have a. Yeah? So, wo arbeitest du? Ich arbeite in einer Klinik. Magda Donat. Okay? So, we didn't see till now the a. Uh. The a uh in German is a ein und eine. So I'm anticipating a little. We have here the masculine and neutral. And here we have the feminine. Okay? So this is the clinic. So this is this one. Uh, when we have the door, we will have D. And when we have the door, we will have Aina. Okay? And this is a nominative again. Like the Der did us, yeah? And then uh, after that, we had the Dem and all that. The, the country, it always I refer to the country. Now we have no more the Der did us, we have her. Uh, so masculine. Neutral and feminine. So this is a nominative. I am on that in dative because I have an in. I need also that. So she, Magda Donat, she told, I know. So the dative of I know is I know. So when you have that, you shall write in, you need a dative. And you have to know. So if I am working in a restaurant, Restaurant is ein because it is das. The der is that, the er is this one. Okay? Clear till now. Even for people with, we didn't learn German till now. Yeah? I told English is always er, 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 er. Feminine, masculine, neutral, I don't know what it is, yeah? Or er. German is masculine ein, feminine eine, and neutral ein again. Clear. That is a nominative. After the in and in the dative. So for the feminine, the dative is einer. Clear? Restaurant is neutral. So the nominative of restaurant will be ein restaurant. And the dative will be einer. Okay, that we will learn it later, but it is for you to understand all the relations between nominative and dative, between the genders, yeah, in the nominative and in the dative. This is where German is a little complex. English is a, uh, in a, uh, finished. Feminine, masculine, neutral. Okay? So I need my dative. And feminine is that. Neutral is that. If I want to work in a hospital, not a clinic, this is a small structure. I want a hospital, the government. So hospital is das Krankenhaus. So Krankenhaus, literally translated, is a house of ill people. Krank is ill. So this is a house where you find ill people. Okay? So here also I will have, in Einem, Krankenhaus. Okay? And it is a story of Bayanin. When you tell the profession or where you work, not the profession, but where you work. You have some question, yeah? Those who are unemployed or business person, so how we, how we can say? They don't work with a company? 
They are uh, business people. So you will not say I work for. You will say I am a businessman. But the place where you work, you will not say. Yeah. So businessman is the the uh, the chefsman. In Geschäftsmann. So, you will say, as I told, ich bin Geschäftsmann. Without her, without nothing. No article. Yeah? And if it is a woman, then you say Geschäftsfrau. Simple it is. The same with her. But I think you are all employed somewhere. Yeah. You are not uh, uh, on your own. Yeah? So you want to say, if you want to say, I work in my company, so you have to say, in mine. Firma. Firma is the firma. Firma. So, the firma. The minor will be called minor. I need the R in that for the feminine. I don't know somebody will want to be uh, on his own. Is this for feminine? So for feminine. Right? Firma is feminine. Minor. Yeah, the R is for the feminine noun, and the EM are for the, it is for the um, neutral or for masculine. Masculine would be also I, I don't have something masculine. Okay. So that's why it's very important to know the Erdidas. This is a, the start of all, the Erdidas, when it comes to the article. As a grammar, grammar uh, uh, section, article, the Erdidas. Section verbs, ending of the verb. The grammar is divided in ma many sections. Yeah, you have the articles, you have the plural of the nouns, nouns. Then you have the verb with the endings, and we have so many adverbs. So, many adverbs. so either when it comes to the article, it's very important. So, uh, another question? Nothing? No? So, so we have it here. Was sind Sie von Beruf? Beruf uh, raten. Raten. Wie heißen diese Beruf? Ordnen Sie zu. So, raten is a verb. To guess. We have to guess the profession. Yeah. <coughs> so, also, the professor, the engineer, as we get full, we don't say. Ingenieur. It comes from French. So, engineer. The journalist in the same thing. The yacht is not pronounced as a yacht. It's pronounced like the French pronounce is a je. Journalist. In. Der architect und der boxer. So, die Frau hier. Was was ist die Frau von Beruf? Was ist die Frau von Beruf? Huh? Yeah, I want a question. I want an answer with a verb and all that. Perfect. Not only journalist. Die Frau ist Journalistin. 
Die Frau ist Journalistin. Ja. Und Nummer zwei, der Mann. Was ist der Mann von Beruf? Der Mann ist Boxer von Beruf, ja. Okay? Und die Frau Nummer drei. Was ist die Frau von Beruf? Ist so ja, die Frau ist Professorin. Okay? So Nummer vier. Der Mann ist Ingenieur von Beruf. Der Mann ist Ingenieur von Beruf. And the last one? Der Mann Architekt von Beruf. Okay? So. Number, also B, 9B. Kennen Sie noch andere internationale Berufe? Sammeln Sie. Internationale Berufe. Do you know some? Der DJ, okay. Für diese Profession, ja. Die Fotografin. Der Pilot. Der ist Pilot. Oder Pilot. Der Pilot. Dann? The girls on the catwalk. Das Modell. Ja, das Modell ist double Ich I don't know more than that. Die Trainer, der Trainer vielleicht. Der Trainer, die Trainerin. Und auch so international Sound, ja, um Englisch. So, this is not a big deal. So, you have here what I have told. Fragen Sie Ihre Partner, Ihre Partnerin und machen Sie Notizen. Now you are supposed to speak and to ask to interview your partner. So we have here, wir sind, uh, was sind Sie von Beruf? Or was bist du von Beruf? I have given you more. Wann arbeiten Sie? Wann arbeitest du? Und wann haben Sie frei? Und wann hast du frei? So ich bin Student, Studentin. Ich arbeite am, ich arbeite am nicht. The day, nothing, ja, yeah, I'm not. Und ich habe am frei. So, you are doing now, you will work in group, also, I don't know how many you have now. <coughs> okay, 18, with that. So, I would say, you work in group of two, yeah? And you ask, first you prepare that, you ask questions to your partner, and then we will listen to them, okay? Also the question, here. You can take also this kind of question if you want. Yeah? Yeah, you can take this one. But this one also good, okay? Everybody, It's working with a partner. So it is right here at What is that? Seasons. The Yaras <coughs> Oh. 
Und das hier. Diese hier. So ist der Teil und so hier. Ja? So, hier. Ja, seid in D, A und C, H. Das ist also International Designations for the three countries again. Deutschland, Österreich und die Schweiz. Ja? CA is the French language. They have taken the French language. Small explanation. We cannot write Swiss like that because it's already taken by Sweden. So the Swiss have thought about taking the second language they have in the French language. So the French say CH. This is an international designation for, uh, for Swiss. So the C is Confederation. The confederation, and in the long time back, at the time of the Romans, uh, Swiss was called Helvetia. Yeah, so L V T. So this is the Helvetic Confederation, means Swiss Confederation. Confederation because we have a lot of states, small states. Yeah, like here in India, you have Maharashtra, you have uh, so many states, yeah, okay. So, and there also they have so many states, also not so many, but not so many, uh, as, ma as many as in India, that you have. And this is a confederation, that's why like that. So, CA, CA is for Swiss <coughs> Alliance, yeah. So, also the Schweiz. Die Monate. Die Monate is a month, also Monat, der Monat is a month. Months. So we are learning the months. So the first is Januar. Januar, Februar, März, März, April, Mai und Juni. In the next six, six Jahr. This is Juli, August, September, October, November, and De December. So this is a 12 months. So, so like all the nouns, these are nouns, yeah, they will have an article. And these months are masculine, so the article will be there. All of them. Yeah? Year, year is uh, neutral, months is uh, masculine, and they are also masculine. Now I want to say in January or in March. So we will say im. Okay? We have the dative here also. Normally it's in them. So dative of there is them, you know. So what we do, we do that and we have the in. 
like that as it were. Okay? And finish. This has a mass. Now we ask to Caesar, Caesar. So we have four. At the moment, people are freezing there. It's a winter. Yeah? So, winter. After the, win the winter, you will have the spring. Yeah? So, early. <coughs> so the nature is coming back to life again. We have some flowers coming out, the leaves of the trees, otherwise it's totally naked. Nothing is there. Then the next season is a summer. Summer. And again, going to the winter, slowly, slowly, is herbst. Herbst is autumn. Huh? Uh, likes of months, they are all masculine. There. And likes of months, if you want to say in summer, you will say in summer. So this is all what you have to know. We are in the season. Here we have three. We have the winter time, as we have now. This for the people that this is more the spring. It's very good season, it's a spring. We have 15 degrees till 20 the spring. Then we have here the summer, which is, uh, yeah, <laughs> we cannot breathe. But there also, they have also, uh, in Germany, they can reach also 40, no? So they have the AC, they have to buy ACs nowadays. Ten years back it was not like that. So in summer for maybe one month they will have the AC. If you are for one month. Otherwise it's always interrupted by rain, rain in between, yeah, the summer. The summer is not like here that you don't have rain for a long period of time and heat, you have heat here, yeah. yeah. In Germany, you have heat, then when it comes to 40 degrees for two, three days, maybe four days, then you have a very big storm. Then it is raining and it becomes cold. Yeah? It's mostly like that. As a not pleasant summer, I would say. Uh, the summer is no more like we had before. From June till, uh, I would say, uh, middle of September, we had nice summer. Not 40 degrees, we are plus 35. And uh, it was not raining, nothing now. It's only rain. And, uh, the, the weather is totally, uh, you know, what happened with the weather is here also, yeah? Yeah. <coughs> so the weather is changing. As of now, you will have the, the AC in Germany. Yeah. And it's very uh, humid. When you have 40 degrees for sometime for one week, before it starts raining, it's, uh, the, the humidity is coming so high here that you don't feel well. You need the AC inside here. Yeah. So it was not like that. This was more in these countries, yeah, here that you have the humidity higher. Yeah. Now it's there also. So I saw so weather is like the people. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere in the world. Okay, so I saw the months the season and all you need to know for that yeah. so if you put of course the month in first position if i say in october uh, in october so you see the verb yeah So this one is the first position, the second three. Okay? This is the same if I say in Herbst, because October, <coughs> October is Herbst, autumn, Spiele ich Fußball. So it depends what you put in first position. The first position will be taken as first position. 
For us, it's not so important, this one. In English, it's very important that the subject is before the verb. As again, a repetition of what we have seen. Yeah? Okay. So, uh, now, yes, you have photos, you have Bilder. Uh, das sind die Jahreszeiten und das sind die Monate, das Jahr. So, wir haben hier sie, März, April und Mai, Frühling, äh, Juni, Juli, August, Sommer, dann September, Oktober, November, das ist Herbst und der Winter ist im Dezember, Januar und Februar. Okay, it's not like that. They have made it, made it very simple for you, but it doesn't start on the first of each month. The change, or no, of after three months, the first, the change of season. Yeah, it is not like that. Uh, it starts always. I don't know exactly. It is the twenty-first or twenty-second. Yeah, of one month. And three months later, on the 21st or 22nd, it will change again. So now the winter has started in, uh, let me, in November, November, December, February, March. Yeah. So it has started, let's say, on the 21st of November. Okay? And it will go. Till the 21st of March. <coughs> yeah, the way they write it, you think it is the first of uh, one month, till the, after three months again, the first. It's not like that. It's almost at the end of the month that it changes always, after three months. Yeah? And we have to move that. So, and uh, here we have the pictures. That is clear. What is that? What is that? That is the winter. Yeah. That's, what is that? So, that is, that is the herbst. Here, wo die Blume sind, that is the Frühling, die Blume. Die Blume with the uh, flowers coming out. Yeah. And that is the Sommer. Yeah. Also, vier. Jahreszeit. Jetzt hören wir mal hier. Also wir haben hier Foto A ist der Winter, Foto B ist der Herbst und so weiter. Hören Sie die Texte, was machen die Leute wann? Was machen die Leute wann? What does it mean? Was machen die Leute wann? What people want. What? People want everything. Warm? No, me. Make, also do, do when. So, also wir sprechen über Hobbys, ja, und wir hören genau, was, welche Hobbys, ja, und wann, in the year. Also it's a little difficult, they speak uh, as usual, try to catch at least the hobby and the season, or the month, if they say month. We're going to try to listen to all. I'm going to use not the other. Aufgabe 11c. 1. Hallo, hier ist Radio X3. Unser Thema heute Jahreszeiten und Hobbys. Was machen Sie wann? Rufen Sie uns an. Die Nummer ist 04011 3344. 
unser erster Anrufer. Hallo. Also, ich schwimme im Sommer ganz auf dem Bodensee. Manchmal jeden Abend und jedes Wochenende. Ich wohne nämlich in Bregenz, direkt am See. Aufgabe 11c. 1. Hallo, hier ist Radio X3. Unser Thema heute, Jahreszeiten und Hobbys. Was machen Sie wann? Rufen Sie uns an. Die Nummer ist 04011 3344. Unser erster Anrufer, hallo. Also, ich schwimme im Sommer ganz auf dem Bodensee. Manchmal jeden Abend und jedes Wochenende. Ich wohne nämlich in Bregenz, direkt am See. Also wenn ich nur hier war. Es Radio X3. Unser Thema heute: Jahreszeiten und Hobbys. Was machen Sie wann? Rufen Sie uns an. Die Nummer ist 04011 3344. Unser erster Anrufer. Hallo. Also, ich schwimme im Sommer ganz auf dem Bodensee. Manchmal jeden Abend und jedes Wochenende. Ich wohne nämlich in Bregenz, direkt am See. Ich wohne nämlich in Bregenz, manchmal jeden Abend und jedes Wochenende. Also ich schwimme. Also, ich schwimme im Sommer ganz. Ich? Ich bin. Ich bin. Ich schwimme. 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 Jeden Abend und jedes Wochenende. So jeden Abend ist every evening ein every weekend. Schwimmen Sie im Winter? Also. Auf dem Bodensee. Manchmal jeden Abend und jedes Wochenende. Ich wohne nämlich in Bregenz, direkt am See. Also, ich schwimme im Sommer ganz auf dem Bodensee. Ja, Wann schwimmen Sie? No, I am looking for the season. Ich schwimme im Sommer gar nicht. Sommer. If you are attentive and you try to uh, understand what you uh, can understand. Ich schwimme im Sommer. Ja? So, this was the first one. Now the second one. Also da, was, was ist schwimmen und wann ist im Sommer? Zwei. Habe ich einen jungen Mann am Telefon? 
Was machen Sie wann am liebsten? Ja, hallo. Hier ist Gernot aus Aachen. Meine Frau und ich reisen viel. Im Frühling ist das super. Nicht so heiß und wenig Touristen. Wir machen gern Städtereisen. Paris, Amsterdam, Brüssel. Von Aachen ist das alles nicht weit. So, the next one. Drei. Bei Ihnen, Frau Wagner, was machen Sie wann? Hm, naja, also im September habe ich frei. Ich wohne in Kiel, da ist das Wetter noch okay, nicht so heiß. Da spiele ich dann viel Tennis und Jogge. Sport ist mein Hof. Tennis spielen und joggen, wann? September. September kann man Vier. Wie ist es denn im Winter? Gibt es denn keine Winterhobbys? Doch, ich mag den Winter in den Alpen. Im Januar und Februar fahre ich oft Ski. Die Natur, die Berge, alles weiß. Das ist super. Ich wohne in Innsbruck, mitten in den Alpen. Also, was macht er? So, was ist Vier. Wie ist es denn im Winter? Gibt es denn keine Winterhobbys? Doch, ich mag den Winter in den Alpen. Im Januar und Februar fahre ich oft Ski. Die Natur, die Berge, alles weiß. Das ist super. Ich wohne in Innsbruck, mitten in den Alpen. Das nice aus Innsbruck, wo ist es? Es ist in Austria. Sie hat ein sehr nice Austrian Akzent. So. So, er wohnt in Innsbruck, in Österreich, in den Bergen, in den Bergen, also Mountain. Und Innsbruck ist in den Mountain. So, äh, Skifahren. So, uh, you don't speak it to ski. It's taken from English, but it's spoken she. Skifahren yeah. is to ski. Okay. <coughs> so, er fährt, er fährt Ski im Winter. Okay. I have to put the ski after my bow. When I want to say something about him, I say, er fährt ski im winter. Er kann sagen, er ski fährt. Er ist gleich ins Kino gehen. Er geht ins Kino. Er hört Musik. Er fährt ski. Okay? So, this was as of the, the year, <coughs> with the months and the season, so you have to know them. You will not spend too much time on that. It has to be gone. Uh, now you have to know how to feel for. Yeah? So, we are coming here now. Welcome and bye. So, welcome hat or something like that. Persönliche Angaben, 12a, persönliche Angaben. So, persönlich is pers personal.
Undi and Gab, please know it because we will need it. It's a very important work. So you should uh, underline it or something like that when it is important. It's a data or information. So personal data, personal information. Was passt zusammen? What match to better? Matches to better? So they have given you some terms, words, without the uh, article. I find it good that because you should know the article. It's always changing. So we have the, the Vorname, also their Vorname, their Name, das Geburtsdatum. Was is das Geburtsdatum? Hmm? Yes, also this is das, yeah? Der Geburtsort. Is a, yeah, the Ort is a place, place of birth. The address, so again we change. The address is an address. The telephone number and the handy number. So telephone number is a landline. And handy, that's, that's handy, is a cell phone. The number and that's handy. Yeah? So the handy number. So and here you have what you have to match. So when we have Nama, so, eh? what, what do you say? Miller. Yeah. Nama is Miller. Geburtsdatum. So you say it in English for the first of April 1988. Yeah. Geburtsort. New York. Adresse? Goethe? Straße? Sieben? Zehn? Siebenhundert elf? Berlin? You have always to cut this zip code, yeah? Zehn, siebenhundert elf, Berlin. Die Telefonnummer is a landline. So which one is the right one? Nine. All what other stuff with eins, null eins is and so Berlin is null drei null. This is a telephone. The telephone. Null drei null is a landline. Null eins sieben eins or null eins fünf null. Or 016, I don't know what. That is the handy. The handy number. Okay? And here, we feel that now. B, Sie registrieren Sie bei einer Internetseite. Ergänzen Sie das Formular mit Ihren. Angabe, also wir haben gerne Angabe, da würde ich sie brauchen. So, sich registrieren ist zu registrieren. Zu registrieren bei einer Internetseite, die Seite ist auf Page. Internet Page. So you can do it without me now, yeah? There's not a big problem. Maybe I have to tell something. But Vorname, Nachname, was ist weiblich und männlich? Male, no, female, male, yeah? Geburtsdatum is clear. E-mail, Telefonnummer, Wohnort. Schule, die Schule is a school. Arbeit, by now you know the company name. 
Interesse, also Interest. Und Lieblingsmusik, Lieblingsfilm, Favorite Music, Favorite uh, Movie. Ja, okay. And we will stop it here for today. <laughs>